He shoots. He scores. <laughs> now, that is how hockey works. If someone scores a goal in hockey, usually that's the line. He shoots. He scores. You don't hear that in baseball. You don't hear it in basketball. You hear it in hockey. Now, I'm not here to talk about hockey. I'm actually here to talk about a blog post that I wrote a couple of weeks ago that I basically said 31 things people are doing wrong in blogging and social media. And it was one of those weird posts. And the fact that because I was doing it for March, I said, you know, I want to have 31 different topics. I want to have 16 on blogging and I want to have 15 on social media. So I wrote out a list because this is how I do things. I basically come up with an outline and I go for it. So I basically sat here and I came up with 16 and 15. And it was really easy to do because I see a lot of stuff that I think that people are just doing wrong for whatever reason. It's my opinion. So I figured that, okay, this is going to be basically a list post. I may get, you know, a little more than 1,000 words out of it and I'll be good to go. So I start writing. And at the same time I start writing that, some people start talking to me on Twitter. So I start engaging on the conversation on Twitter as well as writing my article, which some people would think, how can you concentrate on that? You know what? Sometimes that's just how I roll. So anyway, <laughs> I'm doing this conversation and I'm writing my article. And by the time I'm through with just the 16 blogging, I'm already at 2,600 words. I said, what the devil? What am I doing? Well, I guess in my little fear here of trying to do a couple of things, I didn't just like write a couple of lines under each one of these things and move on. I explained why I thought they were bad things to do. So once I had got started on that road, I said, well, you know what? I might as well do the exact same thing for social media. Now, just so you know, I don't usually go out of my way to try to write posts that long. I subscribe to the Mozart theory, which basically says you write as much as you need to, and then you're done. So I've been known to write what I consider long posts, anywhere between 1,500 and 2,000 words, pretty easily. But this article ended up being 4,660 words. <laughs> so anyway, it turned out it's the second longest article I've ever written, because I actually wrote one a few years ago where it came almost to 6,000 words. And then I decided to break it up into two separate articles rather than just have one really long, big old article. Uh, this time around, I said, you know what? I'm putting it out just as it is. Uh, I added images to help break it up somewhat. But, you know, I put out that bad boy just as it was. Then I decided, well, you know what? I'm going to promote this one a little bit more than I normally do in some different ways. So usually with every blog post I do and with every video I do, I will advertise it five days in a row. But only on the day that it actually goes live do I do it twice. So in essence, everything I write or everything I produce, I advertise on Twitter six times. When I do blog posts for a couple of my blogs, they go to LinkedIn. So I already had LinkedIn covered. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to put this on my business page on Facebook. So I put it in that page. And then I decided, you know what? I have a blogging group that's a local blogging group on Facebook as well. I'm going to share it there. Then I said, you know what? Let's put it on Google+. So I put it on Google+. But I have two Google+. Pluses. So I then went to my other Google+. Plus, and I shared the post that I did from, you know, from the other Google Plus account. Only place I didn't really talk about it was here. So anyway, I did all that. And I got to tell you, it is only the second post in my blogging history. And I've been blogging for over 10 years. It's the second post that an article has had more visits than the main page. And the other article was actually one of those kind of fluke articles where it turns out that because of the title, and I'm not even going to get into what the title was, because of the title, it brought a lot more people 
to that article than it really deserved. And then they just came and they saw it wasn't what they thought it was and they left. So the bounce rate was somewhere around like 92%. No one ever read the article. And it was a great article too, but I ended up having to yank it because Google decided that even though they didn't obviously read it, they decided that it was violating some standards and so I wasn't allowed to do AdSense on that blog anymore, which was actually fine because I never made almost any money. I think I made a total of 10 cents <laughs> having AdSense on that blog. So anyway, in my mind, that means that this has actually become, in a very short time, my most popular blog post. Now, I've had some blog posts that over the years have had tons of visits, but this one just took off storm by storm. I mean, it, it was wild. So I started to think, okay, what is it that really you know, gets people to show so much passion about a blog post? Because I got to tell you, it, it got a lot of comments. It's still getting comments. Um, it got a lot of shares everywhere. I mean, people actually shared it on LinkedIn. I'd never had people sharing a blog post on LinkedIn like that before. People were sharing it everywhere. A few people shared it right on Facebook. No one had ever shared a blog post of mine on Facebook. And I just said, wow. And then I had some people who wrote me and said, hey, you ought to turn this into a book. Which I said, hey, really? Come on. <laughs> so, you know, I asked myself the question, what was it that this post did that none of my other, other posts have done? The SEO wasn't anything spectacular because I didn't concentrate on the SEO. Maybe it's the fact, one, that I did advertise it a lot more because this particular post, I actually advertised, I think, what, maybe 16 times or whatever. I mean, once I wrote 4,600 words, I said, you know what, I want to make sure this gets seen. So I put it out there a lot. And, you know, it seemed to have touched something in a lot of people that they just wanted to share it and share it and share it. And I thought that was so cool. Um, so it really, I think it kind of proved that it really is the, the um, uh, sharing of it. Um, what do we call it? Oh my God. See, I'm having that senior moment. This is what happens when you get old and you have the senior moment. It's uh, putting it out there. What do you call it? Advertising. Marketing. It's the marketing of the article that really helped it to get going because I cared a lot about this article and I really wanted to make sure that it would be seen by a lot of people and it has been seen. Now I'm going to link down below because I'm doing this video ahead of time which basically says I can't add anything to it. Uh, but later on, I will put something in there so that you know you can click it and go right to it if you're interested because I'm hoping to make that article last a good long time. I'd love for everyone to see it because I love people's opinions. So let me, you know, tell me your thoughts on the marketing process of things that you put out. I mean, how often do you put out your own stuff? And, you know, if you write an article or you create a video, how many times are you advertising it? Where are you advertising it? And what kind of success are you seeing from that? I mean, my goodness, I can't see me doing that with everything I write because, okay, you know what? I got a ton of content. I just, <laughs> if I do that, then I can't share a whole lot of other stuff that I want to share. And for me, social media is supposed to be about engagement, which is actually one of the things I wrote. That's one of my points is it's supposed to be about engagement. It's not supposed to be about me all the time. It's not supposed to be about you all the time. It's supposed to be a mixture. I share some of me. I share some of you. We get to talk. That's engagement. Let me know your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear it. Y'all take care and hope you have a wonderful weekend.